Hi, I'm Scott Henderson, and I'm here to show you this cool new pedal, the SH9. Uh, first, a little backstory. Uh, this pedal is based off the original SD9, which was invented in Japan in 1981 by Mr. Susumu Tamura, and uh, I believe it was released in the States in 1982 under Ibanez. So it was a real pleasure and an honor to work with Mr. Tamura, who invented the, the pedal that's been on my pedal board for the last 20 years or so. And I love it, but uh, I thought it could use some improvements. So Mr. Tamura came up with this. So that being said, let's hear it. First, I want you to hear what the, the amp by itself sounds like. You know, this is just a uh, Sur Signature Strat, a couple of cables, very short cable connector. Um, right into the amp, which is a 71 Marshall with a master volume mod by John Sir. And uh, this is what the amp sounds like with no pedals at all. It's a little crunchy, kind of dark. Right, so when I add the SD9, adds quite a bit of volume and brightness. So, you know, if someone buys an SD9 uh, from the music store and the first thing that they usually do is they have the tone control around 12 o'clock and then they hear this sound, which to my ears is a little spiky. I can hear a very metallic kind of, not the most pleasing frequency. Kind of, some people would call it annoying. So what I'm going to do to get rid of that is I'm going to turn the tone control to about 10 o'clock. And that's going to sound a lot fatter and more musical. And this is kind of the SD9 sound. Nice tone. But some would say it's a little muffly. One of the issues I have with the SD9 is that when you turn the control down, you also lose a little bit of the voice on the G string and the D string. These kind of notes, if I pick really hard, it's, it's okay. You're getting a voice, but uh-oh, I just heard it go kind of woo. This I cannot use. That kind of a tone. This is one of the things I have problems with the SD9 about. It's a little muffly. Now if I turn my tone control up from four, which it's at now, to like seven or eight, then it's okay. But this isn't the kind of tone I want for my style. For you rockers, we're going to get into this kind of tone in just a minute, but for now, the kind of tone I like is with the tone rolled down to about four. And most of the time I can make those kind of notes speak. Sounds fine, but sometimes I get that which I do not like. I, like I said, I could change that by turning the tone control up some, but I'm not digging that frequency. So in comparison, if I have the tone controls on both pedals around the same place, and I play a note here on the SD9, which can sound muted, when I switch to the SH9, it's got its voice back. And it's, I can't make that ooh thing happen. It always sounds like it has a voice. So, now these, 
sound. I think you'll notice like that the SH9 has more bass, but in the low frequencies. And the note speaks really nice. When I go back to the SD9, I get this kind of woofy thing again. There's not as much low, low bass. It's more like, sort of like a low mid. And it's making the note kind of, it sounds like it's caving in on itself. Back to the SH9, much clearer and a big, nice low end. Lots of bass. Back to the SD9. Maybe kind of muffly again. And I, as I said, we can fix that by rolling the tone control up more, but then you got this problem up here, spiky. Can't use that, I cannot use that. Let's listen to the SH9 with its tone control on 12 o'clock. So here's the SD9 with the tone control on 12. Thin, kind of a little bit, I'm not digging that frequency. Now here's the SH9. Much more musical. I don't have any problem with the sound of those notes. My playing, I have a problem with it. I don't like to play too many notes because, you know, the more notes I play with one pedal, you, you forget <laughs> the comparison. So I'm just trying to play as a few notes with each pedal so you can really hear the difference. Play a few notes on the B string just around the middle of the neck. That's the SD9. I'm hearing a little bit of a nasally thing. Now the SH9, fatter and more musical, I think. Nothing there hurts my ears. It's just sweet. Back to the SD9. I'm kind of hearing that nasal thing I don't like. Let's play something like around the middle strings, like the D string, the A on the D string. What I'm hearing here is that puffiness that I don't like. I don't hear the voice. But on the SH9, I hear the voice. It's a little just, it's more pronounced. The vibrato sounds better. It's just a more musical note. Back to the SD9. Something's muffled. Don't, I don't like it, it's muffled. And it sounds like I'm saying, oh, I really hate the SD SD9. I don't hate it. I've been using it for years. And some, if you're, if you're playing long lines, whatever, I mean, it sounds fine because you're not that nitpicky, but if you have to play long notes and, and, and be really melodic, that's where I notice, you know, the defic deficiencies in the SD9 for these long notes where I'm trying to just make it sing like this. And sometimes I can pick it where it's musical. That's not bad, but most of the time it sounds like this. 
And on the SH9, I never have that problem. It's very voiceful. I would like to do uh, just one further thing and get more of a traditional rock tone. Um, what I do is I get a pretty dark sound from my guitar by rolling the tone down to like four or even three, sometimes five, whatever. But, um, and then miking the bright part of the speaker, uh, the dust cap, not the middle of the dust cap, but toward the edge, the very edge of the dust cap. But a more traditional way to mic our more traditional rock tone period is to have your tone control all the way up on your guitar and mic the paper of the speaker, you know, like around the middle of the paper. So I'm gonna go move the mic right now and we're gonna hear what more of a traditional rock sound sounds like when we compare these two pedals. So now we've got much more of a rock and roll tone with the tone control all the way up here on 10 and I'm miking the paper of the speaker. So we're more in kind of a vintage rock kind of a tone. Though even these tones are supposed to be aggressive, you know, and biting, you, st you still don't want thin. So the SD9... Here's the SH9. But now high notes, this is where... Just like in the other, you know, situation. That's a nice fat note. And back to the SD9. Just not quite as much bass and low end and mids down there. This is a little bit thin sounding. SH9. Forgive my mistakes. So thanks for watching. Uh, this pedal, the SH9, is made by Totally Wicked Audio, distributed by Godlike. So check them out on the web and go to your local store and, and play through one. I think you'll love it as much as I do. I've really been digging playing it on the road. So um, thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye.